Guess what day it is? It's hump day, baby. A.K.A. Wednesday. And what we like to do here is have a little wet Wednesday, which is just an excuse for us to drink beer on a weekday. But that's okay. I got a light beer today that I'm going to drink. I got another uh, Boulevard Brewing. So I'm not just trying to drink Boulevard Brewing. Uh, How it works here is usually... The base gets shipments from different companies, and we get a big stock of it. And I didn't even realize the first beer, the Tank 7, I did was a Boulevard Brewing. Um, so this is another one. But this time it's a an unfiltered wheat, Boulevard. Unfiltered wheat, American wheat beer. Uh, wheat beer, basically, they use malted wheat. And majority of the beer that they brew it with is malted wheat. Or I read 30% typically is germinated wheat that they put in when they brew the beer. I don't think there's any hops in this. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's no hops when they do wheat beer. And I'm not going to go too crazy into wheat beer because I'd rather talk about it with a German beer than an American wheat. But as the name implies, it's unfiltered. Let me wipe off that condensation all over that. Yeah. So that maybe you guys can see. Oh, nope. Oh, there we go. See that nice stuff on the bottom there? Oh, yeah, that's all that nice, lovely sentiment. So what I typically do, some people roll the beer. I typically just kind of give it a few gentle flips. That way, all that sedimentation spreads around, and you get a nice, hazy-looking beer. And you can tell it it's pretty much gone off the bottom. So I give it a couple of flips, nice and easy. Maybe kind of roll it in your hand a little bit. You don't have to be super crazy. I forget Budweiser made some wheat beer and they made like a commercial where they're like, "You gotta roll it on the on the table. That's how you do it properly." I think as long as you're mixing it up a little bit, nice and gentle, so you don't cause it to explode all over the place. Use my brass casing as my bottle opener as always. Oh, we got a little bit of foamy, but it didn't spill out the bottle, so that's okay. Uh, I guess I should tell 4.4, 4.4 alcohol content, 14 IBUs. It's not going to be bitter. It kind of, wheat beer always smells like spoiled bread to me. Uh, and move the microphone back a little bit. Always smells like spoiled bread. And when you drink it a lot, like for a night of partying, you, you kind of feel like <laughs> feel like you ate a bunch of old bread. And you get the worst burps. But got my adorable glasses always, nice and clean. We're going to give it a good pour. A nice color. Oop. All right. So this is even a lighter color than the IPAs, Paleo. But you can see it's, it's very opaque because there's a lot of unfiltered wheat particles in there, basically. Hence the name unfiltered wheat. I'll take another. I'll take a sip first and talk. It's okay. It's pretty light, like I said in the beginning. Not really a strong taste. It's not bitter at all. Kind of refreshing. I feel like the good wheat beer is like a nice hot day beer. Other than, like I said, the smell. (laughs) You'd smell like sour bread all day. But I feel like American wheat beer is vastly unsuperior to German wheat beer. Which I will get my hands on some good German Heffenweizens. Because those are some of my favorite beers lately. But for drinking, 
This isn't too bad. I feel like this would be a good gall for a barbecue beer. Something where you're doing something outside, hanging out. And it's not too sour bread tasting like I was saying earlier, or spoiled bread. It doesn't smell too crazy. It's less alcohol content than like a regular Budweiser, so you're not going to get annihilated if you drink a six-pack of these. It's pretty good. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's okay. So I'm going to give it... Mm, I'll take another taste and think about it. Like a 3.3, 3.25 out of 5. Above a 3, for sure. And to me, I feel like how my rating should be is 0 is just disgusting. 1 is awful. 2 is like, meh. 3 is, is okay. 4 is good. And 5 is like obviously phenomenal. And I probably will not review a 5. But I feel like this is good. It's not... It's better than okay, but it's not like, I wouldn't brag about it to somebody and be like, you got to try this beer. But if somebody showed up and offered it to me, I would be pretty happy. Excuse me. Ugh, I'll burp. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, anyways, I'll go back into like stuff that I want to do for my channel. I definitely need to get some editing software because the problem I've run into with these reviews is, is once I pop the cap on this, it's game time. Uh, I can't go back and, and I mean, I can be less genuine and pretend, but I don't think that's good. I think it's much better to have the experience with the glass right on camera, my first initial taste, and not pretend like, Oh, I've drank this, and uh, oh, wow, this is a new, exciting flavor. Like, no. Nah. Uh, and I don't want to plot what I talk about. I want to drink the beer and come up fresh off my head what it's doing. So I definitely want to get some editing software so I can make my videos look more professional. And I don't want to do this crude way where if I talk or go on too long, like I probably am in this one, that I can cut out the fat or if I don't like something... And I can I can change it a little bit, but I still want the initial me talking about the beer right on uh, on the first try recording. So I think I'm gonna leave it on there. Happy hump day for everybody. Hopefully work isn't bringing you down. And you know if it is, maybe uh, go find some unfiltered wheat beer. Have a couple of those. Kick it outside if the weather's not too bad. Here it's been raining, so it's really been a wet Wednesday. But maybe where you are, it's not so shitty. But anyways, happy hump day, guys. Have a good one.